Hi, my name is Johan Falk. This is the fourth video about Skill Compass and SkillCompass.org, the website. Uh, I'm logged in with the test account here of a, of a local copy of the site. And I've learned a lot of things since the last screencast, and now I only have one thing left to learn, I think. I want to learn content management. Go here. You might want to see my account here. I have like 90, some 96 points. That means when I learn something new, I can get five more points. I pass 100 points and I have 101 in total and now something interesting shows up here in the left menu I have a navigation here and it allows me to add content uh, so well I can now add external learning resource when I find something interesting on the web that I want to add to the site I can do that so here's uh, my uh, really good uh, tip I have some something I want to show you Let's see, let's add this one, Drupal.org API. Uh, some description goes here. I think I won't be able to add this, but that's kind of good. I can here, if this is related, uh, related to a Drupal project like views, I can start typing views here. And uh, will, uh, there should be a search. Maybe this doesn't work on my local copy. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so it does uh, the search uh, towards uh, against the uh, Drupal projects uh, that exist and their releases on Drupal.org. So I could say that this is re relevant for Views 3 or Organic Groups, the first version of the second version or something. I also have to say what uh, topic this relates to. So this could be site building, I don't know, uh, basic site building maybe. And uh, I can add this and I'll probably yeah you can't add this because we already have this resource it's called the online API doc so let's call it just something else here this is probably broken let's have it just be google.com or something Save. and here I've now added a new resource to the site I got some points for that I can vote on it to, to tell others how good and bad I think it is uh, I can, as with other resources, mark it completed, and I can also add it to my quick list and things. Uh, kind of useful. Let's reload. Let's see, my quick list here is updated. That's nice. Um, then you can do one more thing. If you go into topics, we have here basic site building, and if I scroll down a bit, we have seen before that topics relate to other topics, you can see that in the, in the tree. Uh, um, basic site building has subtopics, views basics, blocks and regions, fields, taxonomy permissions, and even more. Let's see if I click here twice for some reason. Uh, there are even more subtopics to uh, uh, basic site building. And I can vote on these. For example, here, language aware Drupal site. Someone thinks that this is a part of basic site building. I really don't think so because. Uh, using languages on Drupal sites might be really difficult so this should be advanced title then I could vote down here instead and I can by by doing this uh, change the structure of the tree if enough people think that a, a connection between topics is is good or bad the tree will change and uh, so when you reach 100 points or so you're invited to take part in shaping this tree because I think it's uh, well obviously a lot of people together has a better chance of, of making good decisions uh, when, when it comes to big, it comes to big things like like well collective e efforts like creating a learning tree like this. Uh, so you can vote on these resources, uh, these uh, connections between topics, and you cre can create learning resources. Um, and that's it for this video. I'm going to show you some more stuff later on. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.